This is the most common reaction when people see this queen sacrifice for the first time. So this was played by none other than Super GM Shakri Mamadyarov. He was playing against a grandmaster called Fidel Corrales Jimenez. Shak had white here, and this queen sack actually won him a prize for the best queen sack in the Immortal Games collection on the chess.com library. So let's see what happened here. Shaq kicked off with e4. We had pawn c5, and he now goes for a c3 Sicilian here. And black responds with one of the most thematic ways, pawn d5, taking advantage of the fact that when the queen recaptures here, white can't actually put a knight on c3 now. So we had d4 from Shaq. This pawn now came to e6, different moves there, you could go knight to f6 first for example, but this is perfectly respectable, very solid. Knight f3 from Shaq, now this knight came to f6, and now knight a3 played, Shaq actually wants to come into this b5 square, and black could already stop that one, although then the knight can go on a journey into c4, come to e3, or here later on, you know, it's still got a root, but we didn't have a6 played, Instead, the pawn took on here, and now Shaq actually doesn't recapture here. He goes aggressive, knight to b5, and he's already threatening to land that family fork. So the queen comes back here to block that square, and now this queen took on d4, and black plays the best move here. You don't want to start taking, moving the queen again, bringing the white pieces in. So bishop d7 was played, blocks the queens from exchanging, also pressures this knight here, and now bishop f4 from Shaq, another great move. He's threatening to now check here and pick up this rook in the corner. And now this is where black goes wrong already. So actually the best move here is to develop the knight to c6 because white doesn't have time to yet land this fort. The queen's under attack. You can jump in here with check and then after the bishop captures, go with the queen. White's still better, got the bishops, but okay, black can play on. But the main way to play here would be retreating the queen, then black can go rook c8, that kind of thing. Game goes on, white's a bit better. But we didn't have any of these lines played. Instead, after bishop f4, here we had knight d5 played to cover that c7 square. But this is a mistake, because now Shaq can castle queenside, which he duly does. Now when the knight comes to c6, things are a bit different, white's very developed here, and this is where Shaq just lands his hammer blow. You can probably guess the move from the title of this game. So Shaq just crashes through here, he chops this knight on d5, the pawn recaptures. What's his big idea? Well, he's now ripped open this e-file to the king, black's development is woeful here. So he lands this check, and already actually the best move is for black to recapture with the queen. Now the bishop could then take back. You can go bishop e6 covering this pawn. Let's say knight g5 hits the bishop. And the point is white can win the bishop pair now and will have the better pawn structure. Long term it's a better game. But okay, black surviving. But we didn't have the queen taking on c7. Instead the king staggered up to e7 here. But now we had takes on d5 with check and the king goes back to e8, if it had wandered up to e6, well now it just gets hunted mercilessly. So you can start by checking here, king to f5, and then the bishop joins the party, you kick the king in here, now pawn h3, king h5, this is actually all leading to forced checkmates, you can check like this, and this is just one sample line, I won't go through every line here, but this is one way you could be checkmating the king using those minors and rooks, you know, really beautiful. But anyway, the king didn't stagger up to e6. This was the reason why it didn't. So after this check here, it instead stepped back to e8. Now we had to check again, king e7, this kind of windmill thing, but now we had bishop c4 from Shaq. So he's actually clearing this rook to join the game down the e-file here, and now queen c8 was played, giving the king some room here, but this is actually just a blunder. This is blitz chess, by the way, because now when the rook hits the file and the king steps back, by the way, you can go to f6 here, but then you still get hunted by the minor pieces, same problems. So the king stepped back. Can you see the checkmate, mate in one? And if you have enjoyed this video, do consider subscribing to never miss a future one. So here Shaq lands it, rookie eight mate. That's just beautiful, using all of those pieces. 
I hope you enjoyed this one. If you want to see another amazing Immortal Queen sack, click here.